And hello, football fans. My name is Gary, a.k.a. the IDP Tipster, and I am back here representing the IDP guys and IDP Plus with another episode of the Underdogs for this Thursday's game. I've got three IDP bets I'd like to, player prop bets, that is, that I'd like to pass on. So let's get right to it. We'd also like to note that uh, when I looked at DraftKings at 10 a.m. this morning on the, on this Wednesday, uh, they didn't have any Browns listed whatsoever uh, when it comes to uh, IDP player props that I had seen. Uh, I really didn't look too hard, though, once I seen these. This is the first ones I looked at and looking at real fast at what the odds were set at the solos and such. I, I was crazy not to come right back here and talk about the Jets playing against Cleveland, which I'm also going to mention they've got a little bit of a triage going on. Most of their offensive linemen are nicked up, banged up, and have questionable marks on them. Uh, the left tackle, he actually missed last game, I believe, or he's limited right now with a shoulder. He's not participating very much, so there's a little bit of a chance here that he'll, if he does play, he'll still be kind of gimped up, so... Uh, he, he might not be able to get it done completely. But uh, turning to the players, and I'll try to quit stuttering through this, with Bryce Huff. I think he's a rookie this year, second year, or rookie. I mean, he's graded well above par with a 76.2 with PFF. So that that's, that's really good considering his, the amount of snaps that this kid has played. And he is sitting on eight sacks of the season right now, leading the team. And... I see no reason why when Cleveland has been sitting uh, at the top of the list for the last five weeks and and see the top five and allowing production off the edge and the fact that they've been top 10 the entire season. Uh, Joe Flacco has been sacked seven times since he's become a starter. The only game he didn't give up, uh, get sacked was last game against Houston. And and let's be honest about it. I mean, it's Houston's pass rush, which was not exactly on par as a unit. So um, uh, what it boils down to is that uh, I really like the combination of, of the uh, healthy Jets defensive line. And with Bryce Huff, I have no problem thinking that at plus 170, he can get over a quarter of a sack. Uh, looking at Jermaine Johnson. All right, so the reason that he's at plus 230 is because this guy's had the longer drought since his last sack. That's my opinion. Looking at these odds, they're juicing him up. I don't know why they're so high at this moment. I would not expect them to stick. But he is almost at an 80 with a 79.8. I mean, you're starting to get into the, you know, super, super studs and the really elite when you get on up that high. And he's playing well above par. He only has the six and a half sacks, but he, he's probably also the guy that's going to be taking on the uh, either backup left defensive tackle or the hurt defensive tackle that's got a shoulder problem. So uh, Jermaine Johnson's had a hell of a season for a second season in the, in the league, and, and I have no problem thinking that he could get in there and get him a sack in this situation. Did I also mention that the game prior to Houston, uh, who who they play? I don't know. It doesn't really matter. They gave up four sacks in that game, and it was in Cleveland. So if you think about that you know, home field advantage, it really doesn't matter in this situation. All right, and I'm actually going to give the edge to – Jermaine Johnson this game playing up against that that banged up left tackle or hopefully back up but if I had to rank between Bryce and Huff there's one and two right there and I mean it's basically one a and one b to me but I'm going to go ahead and look at Quinn Williams too because like I said I think I said at the beginning uh the the Cleveland Browns have been giving up uh uh mo- Top 16 to the interior defensive line all year. They're sitting there at 16 right now. And then when you look at Quinn and Williams, which is a complete elite player, his uh, PFF grade is 90.6. Don't take their word for it. Just go watch the guy and look at his stats. You know, he's, he's, he's a killer. There's a reason he's, he's paid the way that he is. Um, but I have no trouble thinking that he can get himself in there and get himself a quarter of a sack at plus 124. 
I know he's only got three and a half on the year, but this is an elite guy. He has eight tackles for a loss. And if they're all banged up across to that line in playing hurt or we've got any subs in there at all, it's only an advantage for an elite player like him. So just to recap, because I know I didn't say it straight out, we're going to go with Bryce Huff against Cleveland Brown. A quarter of a sack plus 170. Anything plus. Anything. I, I really like these three. I, I I know it's weird to sit here and take three players off the board like this, but I, I, I mean, even if you just hit two of the three, you're cooking. You know, you really only have to hit one and make your money back if you hit the right one. So either way, you're not. It's going to be tough to to lose money here if these are in the pluses. Uh, I do expect them to change, as I said, and I'm rattling on. But Jermaine Johnson, you know. Uh, quarter of a sack plus 230. I like that one. That would probably be my first one that I would hit just for the big payout there. And then you got Quinn Williams, as we just mentioned, for a quarter of a sack at plus 124. So I mentioned the lineman, mentioned the sacks. I think we're good to go. Um, the PFF grades, the matchup rankings, and I'm out of here. So we will see you later. Thank you for watching this IDP guys video. If you like this content and you want more fantasy football content, click here. If you enjoyed this video and you want to see more videos to help you master your IDP league, click here to subscribe.